Hello, good morning, good evening, whatever time you're watching this video. Welcome, my name is Callum, and today I want to talk about the realm treasures in regards to the Serena Teapot, of which of these items should you be buying when you hit Trust Rank 8, which of the items are the best bang for your buck, and which of these items should you avoid like the absolute plague they are. <laughs> Would you care to see so, the reason why I gotta make the video is because I am the bearer of bad news. People hoped that when you got to Trust Rank 8, you could get, with a second realm layout, hopefully, double the amount of realm currency. Sadly, if you have 20,000 on one realm layout and 20,000 adeptal energy on your second realm layout, you will still only get 30 realm currency an hour. Never 60. So, Would you care? the reason why that's a bit of an issue is that when we have a look at our realm depot, it should be obvious at a glance. Sadly, there is just not enough realm currency to buy everything in this store. In fact, what we should do is break down the total amount of realm currency we could possibly earn in a week. So, if we get 30 realm currency an hour, times by 24, 24 hours in a day, is going to give you 720 realm currency a day, times by 7, there are 7 days in a week, will give you a total sum of 5,040 realm currency. This is the most amount of realm currency you could possibly earn to spend all in this store. And so let's actually calculate the total amount of each item. If it's just one transient resin for 1,200, that's nice and simple. But for 20 heroes wit, it's going to cost you 2,400 of your realm currency. For 40 mystic enhancement ore, it's going to cost you 2,400 of your realm currency. For 200,000 more, it's going to cost you 2,400 of your realm currency. And finally, the Trend Breakers for Sanctifying Essence for 50,000 artifact experience for five of these is going to cost you 1,800 realm currency. And the total amount of 20 of the Sanctifying Entians is a total of 50,000 artifact experience for 1,800 of your realm currency. So, let's just get this out of the way. These items are the exact same. There is no difference between which of these items should you buy first. You can buy both of them, they give you the exact amount of artifact experience at the exact amount of same price of your realm currency. Great news. Um, putting that aside, which of the items should you prioritise buying first? Let's say you're at trash rank 8, 9, 10, you, you are ready to buy anything in this store. Let's talk about Transient Resin, alright? I was a bit mean to Transient Resin way back in the days of Trust Rank 6 where I did not buy, I waited and we're at trust rank 8, now is the time to buy transient resin. If you avoided it in the past, now's the time you need to buy it, because transient resin is by far the best item in this store. It gives you the most bang for your buck, and it is free resin, and even if it's just one of them, one refresh, it's just gonna, it all is gonna add up over time. Okay, so of all of these items, transient resin is the most important thing to buy. <sighs> Fucking sake. Mystic Enhancement Ore. <laughs> Can I just remind that it's going to cost you, if you wanted to just buy 40 Mystic Enhancement Ore, it's going to cost you 2,400 of your realm currency. That is pretty much almost half of the realm currency you can earn in a week that would be absolutely wasted if you spent it on Mystic Enhancement Ore. For the record, you, all you need to do is just get the Crystal Ores from exploring the world, either in your own world or in co-op, and you just go to your blacksmith. In two days, you are going to get more Mystic Enhancement Ore than here. And it's completely free. It doesn't take resin to do. So please, under no circumstances, you avoid Mystic Enhancement Ore. It is awful. Awful, 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 awful. You just need to get that out of the way. Okay? Because it's... This is the this is the biggest insult of this, of this list. And it's a, the easiest skip of all time. The here is where the more, though... It's going to kind of depend on your world level. I still say they're a bit of a trap. And I'm just going to say I'm at world level 8. And if I wanted to, I could just use this transient resin on either my blue ley lines or my yellow ley lines. And I'm going to just show you here. So, on screen, you should be looking at my blue ley lines. I could get 4 to 5 purple heroes. We're not even going to talk about the blue books, but, you know, they add up. And so, if I spent my transient resin on nothing but my blue ley lines, I could get a total of 12 to 15 heroes whip. 
Now, let's make this fair. If I was to buy the Hero Whip from the store, if we can see that it's 120 for one, if I buy 10 of these, because that's the same amount of price as my Transient Resin, then that actually means I'm only getting 10 Heroes Whip. There's two less in the worst case scenario and five less um, in the best case scenario. So it's not ideal. Mora fares even worse. If we go to my yellow ley lines, as we can see here, it, it I get 60,000 Mora per ley line. And so times by three, if I use my transient resin on it, it's going to give me 180,000 Mora. If I bought 10 of the Mora in this store, I am only getting 100,000 Mora. That is an 80,000 Mora difference between just spending your resin on Mora and essentially kind of wasting it here in the store. I know we've all been there, we've all been low on Mora, and it's a pain. But m buying Mora here, I wouldn't rule it off as hard as I did with Mystic Enhancement Ore, but Mora is a only if you really need it. And you could just wait, like whatever the Mora's cost preventing you from doing, just wait the next day and just you and just go and do your ley lines and you'd get more than this because if you were going to buy anything else it's the sanctifying essence and a sanctifying engine that you should be buying i'll give it the fair shake as i did with the other items and compare the amount of artifact experience that i could get buying the sanctifying rest essence versus the transient resin so if i used my transient resin and i did three artifact domains so per artifact domain on average, you should get one gold, three purple, four blue. And that is a total of 16,380 artifact experience. Times and that by three is going to give you a net total of 49,140. If we did the real maths as close as I can, to try and get as close as I can to the price of 1,200 for the transient resin, if I did 90 divided by 1,200, it's going to give me a number of 13.33333333 recurring. So, we times that by the amount of experience I would earn, as we can see here, that's 2,500. That's going to give me a total of 33,333, and then probably recurring. So, um, it's a little less, sure. However, we are not taking into account that when you roll for artifacts, you are hoping to find good artifacts and whenever you get a good artifact you are going to keep it and not use it and so that is artifact experience that would not be contributing towards leveling up artifacts in fact we have all been here when we get an artifact that has pretty good sub rolls and we kind of want to see where is it going to go let's level up to four and find out you want to keep that artifact until you level it up enough that it goes bad that's when you can get rid of it so Buying the Sanctifying Essence and Ancients is the most bang for your buck compared to the rest of the items here. We also need to acknowledge the obvious that these items are unique in this uh, Realm Depot. You cannot get Sanctifying Essence and Sanctifying Ancient, as of this patch of 1.5, anywhere else. We can get Mora, we can get Heroes Whip, we can get Mystic Enhancement Ore. All of these are available in the Paimon Shop. All of these are given out in Event Rewards. As of now, there is no other way to get Sanctifying Essence. And so therefore, after Transient Resin, you should at least buy these items here. In fact, if I gave you the, the maths of it. <laughs> so, as I've said before, our total is 5,040, right? We take away the 1,200 from our Transient Resin. That gives you 3,840 of your Realm Currency to play around with. If you then take away 1,800 for 50,000 artifact enhancement uh, experience that's going to give you 2004 uh, 2040 of your realm currency to play around with i actually think that's probably the best thing to do 2040 experience is going to allow you some freedom to buy animals it's going to allow you the freedom to buy rocks it's going to allow you the freedom to continue progressing through your serenity pot and then when you get to trust rank 10 and you've got nothing to spend your realm currency on if you didn't want animals or rocks well you are only left with 240. So I do think the Sanctifying Essence and the Inchians are the best items to buy. That may seem obvious from a glance, but I felt the allure of like, oh my god, 200,000 more? That sounds so good, but it really isn't great when you could just do your ley lines. Um, and I know you may be just really unlucky and you just haven't got any good artifacts, 
but all the more reason that you could just stockpile on these, right? Because the moment you get a good artifact, you can just use all of these essence and just go all the way to 20 and just see where it goes. I do think these are the best items next to Transient Resin. Transient Resin is absolutely the item to buy after then you get these two, okay? So, last thing I want to show, if I have a look at my beautiful gene, here's a great example of an artifact here. This is an artifact that I would love to see where it goes, but I don't want to use my artifacts to level it up. One of these purple sanctifying essences is going to get me automatically to two levels. It's 10,000 experience, right? And if you have a look at what does that correlate to, that's free golds. Free golds. That's free. <laughs> that's free artifact runs, right? And so that's why I say that's pretty valuable. If you also look at the price, the price um, stays the same. On. We shouldn't stay here. Thank you, Gene. The price, the price of your artifacts correlates to the amount of experience you gained, right? And so the only other exception to the rule is that once an artifact is leveled up, let's use this level four plume as the example. We can see it's eighteen thousand nine hundred experience at the cost of uh, three thousand seven hundred and eighty. So these are not technically cheaper in terms of Mora, and not even I would consider more expensive. They're about the same. It is only once you level up an artifact, you can then burn it down into I do hope saving the some more. Of Avonius are all working hard. And here's the blue. I'm not going to use them yet because I want to stockpile on them. And my priority is to buy the transient resin first. But I just wanted to show you that's what it looks like in regards of your artifact upgrading. Okie okay, doke everyone, that's pretty much it. That's the end of the video. So the quick wrap up is if the most amount of realm currency you can get in a week is 5,040 and you want to spend it on the realm treasures, absolutely you should buy the transient resin. And afterwards, I do think it's worth buying the sanctifying essence, at least the five purple ones. Then you've got a bit of realm currency to play around with, to which afterwards you've got the freedom to go for more sanctifying um, oceans, however that's pronounced. Or... I guess you could go for Mora or the Hero's Whip, but under no circumstances should you ever buy Mystic Enhancement or Alright, have a wonderful day, take care, best of luck, and goodbye. End it on a Gene ult.